I've been doing a series of videos on what guitarists sound like up close and personal without any band or any studio engineers or any enhancements. So far I've done one on Nancy Wilson, one on Ted Nugent, I've done one on Alex Lifeson and David Gilmour. And today I want to do one on Ace Freely. Now, the last video I did was on Keith Richards, and the title of that video was Is Keith Richards Too Old to Play Guitar? So if you want to see that one or any of the other ones I mentioned, you can browse around. As far as Ace Freely goes, it's a similar topic to the Keith Richards video in that many people think Ace is past his prime and that he can't play anymore. Now the audio that I'm getting ready to play for you is from 2016. So it is kind of dated, but it's very up close and personal and very intimate. It's from the show Guitar Moves. And it's just Ace and Matt Sweeney, the host of Guitar Moves, sitting in a really stripped down environment with two little amps, a couple of Les Pauls, and they're just having a conversation and uh, playing guitar together. So here's what Ace really sounds like, kind of stripped down, up close and personal. Here we go. Anybody that's a KISS fan will realize right away that Ace sounds basically the same sitting there in a chair in that small studio set with a little amplifier as he does, you know, in his prime with KISS in the 70s with his giant Marshall stacks. So the basis of his sound, again, as with the other guitarists I've profiled, comes from his own sense of music as well as his fingertips and his soul. And what I hear there is just quintessential Ace. And if you go back and check out the Guitar Moves video in its entirety, you'll see that Matt and Ace get to jamming along, and Ace plays the solo from Deuce just about exactly like he did on record, sitting there in the chair. So his signature sound is available to him anywhere he goes. Just hand him a Les Paul and an amplifier, and he can get the job done because he carries that brilliance with him everywhere he goes. Now, on the other hand, are there technical issues with the way he plays. Of course there are. That's the first thing he says in the interview is that he has a completely unorthodox style of playing that doesn't really come up to anybody technical standards. It's his way of playing the guitar and it's not going to appeal to everyone and it's not probably applicable to any kind of music outside of heavy rock. You wouldn't see Ace getting by too far sitting down to play with the Philharmonic Symphony or with like a jazz combo. What he does best is blast out heavy rock, power chords, pentatonic solos, and what he is famous for is having a flair for creating melodies and hooks within that context, which isn't really that easy to do because if it were, there would be other guitarists doing it. And as far as I know, Ace has kind of cornered the market on the hummable heavy rock solo. Anyway, I find that listening to him play in this kind of stripped down environment is exciting because he has an exciting approach to the guitar and I've been underscoring the importance of enthusiasm and joy in my videos on guitarists and I think that it's really kind of a cool clip in that it reveals that Ace is exactly the guitarist that you always hope and expected that he would be which is kind of a bit short on technique, but very, very strong on personality and enthusiasm, passion, and soul. Anyway, this is what I think, but what really matters is what you think. So if you have an idea about this or any other topic connected to classic or contemporary music, please drop it in the section below and remember to like and subscribe. Also, 
hit the join button and you can become a member of the channel. If you're a member, you'll get access to members only badges, members only polls, members only videos, and other cool perks you'll see once you click the button. You can also help out the channel by clicking on the buy me a coffee link, going to the buy me a coffee site, and leaving a donation. Every little bit helps this channel stay strong. Thanks so much.